you guys doing and welcome back to the 27th let's play of f123 in my team career obviously it's not emula and there's a big reason for that my recording completely failed for recon uh, uh, for emula i basically my game crashed three times then i recorded it and that recording failed so the whole weekend just went in a waste it didn't matter because we dnf i started pole position and then it was a dnf mechanical dnf which is sad but still we close in the championship and Monaco, Canada, Austria, Great Britain and these are going to be four huge weekends where we can get a lot of points so let's get our best and still think there's a lot of possibilities hopefully I'm able to post this one so yeah guys let's get into Monaco Guys, here we go now. This is the real run. They're blocking me, man. What a dumbass Gasly is. What a dumbass, honestly. What was that? These AI are so stupid. Now Pervis won't move because he's a dumbo. He needs to move! Oh my gosh, I scrubbed the wall. 110.6, that should be good enough for Q. Pretty good lap with through both cars are through, which is nice. Yeah, we're looking decent. McLaren's looking good. Uh, I think Boss also looking strong. Here we go, we're doing it on a higher fuel, we're not burning it this time. Because I think we have enough car performance to get through. Regardless. <laughs> These cars are tanks, bro. I hit that wall pretty hard. Decent lap so far. Ten four. I'll take it. But we hit the wall pretty couple of times. Yeah. P one by one tenth. Still pretty close. Uh, Oscar's through. The car's definitely quick here. It's gonna be close and close for pole, man. Close. Okay, guys, here we go. We burned some fuel off, and we will be going. Here we go. First run in Q3. Bit of snap of overseer. We're running 50 50 wings. Bit of a long corner. Scrape the ball. Nice. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. 
I've taken some long corners. I shouldn't have. Be across the line now. A 10 dot. That was a stunning lap. Holy shit. But yeah, we did sustain some damage on the left front. Look at that. That is a green dot. Okay, guys. Q3. Second run. Should we try to burn some fuel off? I don't think we'll have the time before traffic starts coming out. So we might want to go on this run itself. Let's see if we can improve. Uh, the first half looks pretty good. Improving. Half a tenth of purple, purple, purple. Can it be three purples? Yes, it can. 195. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my goodness, we almost locked up there. Yeah, amazing lap. Clean. Found the lap time. Really happy. All position? Is it ours? We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, One let's have a second. quick look at those who will be fronting the Dumped. grid. Hold I did ball. not Russell cut any corners. I did not Goodbye do for now, anything. Then. We are really just getting started. Make sure you In join us again of, for lights out tomorrow. I don't know how. This is 105 AI. Okay, we'll take a second gap to everyone. I did not expect that. Jesus Christ, 195. As much Oscar, P8. Okay. We can work with this. A proper road race, and in the true meaning of the word. That's how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but we still race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean. There is no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. The prestigious Circuit de Monaco then is not all that dissimilar today to the layout that made its debut almost a century ago. It's two miles and 19 corners through the streets of Monte Carlo. And although the average lap speed of around 93 miles per hour is the lowest of the season, the tiny margins for error make it the natural habitat of the safety car. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Golden Boy lines up on pole position just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Perez, De Vries, Norris, Hamilton, Oscar Piastri, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Gasly, Sainz, Magnussen, Theo Porcher, Bottas, Albon, Stroll, Sonoda, Ocon, Joe, Sargent, and Jack Doohan. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. We welcome once again to the commentary box, Anthony Davidson. And how do you mentally prepare yourself for the rush of the opening lap? Well, the start of the race is always one of the most nerve-wracking parts. You have to hope that everyone is able to get off to a clean start. And this is possibly the trickiest part of the entire race. So many drivers in such a small space and finding your breaking point into turn one as well. It's a testament to the driver's skill that there aren't more incidents. Two stopper or one stopper? 
think it's one stop. It is, mate. One stop for sure. It's Monaco, guys. So it's pretty much. Launch map is good, but we need to learn the gears. So go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes, so put some energy into them and warm the tyres as well, please. Oh, guys, Monaco. Obviously, the tough part is usually the Saturday. It's usually qualifying. And when you get nail that and you're on pole, you feel great. But still, there's 39 laps of closed walls where you can mess up. So the focus and concentration needs to be there. But Iger Gold is bringing in 25 points because we're in a title fight. You want to be. And this is a weekend where you can almost guarantee maximum points when you get pole. So we just have to be clever from now on no rain expected no rain expected for the time being not do anything risky just drive well tires should be good hopefully oscar can undercut or overcut some people and probably finish in top six it's a bit optimistic though but let's see man monaco is in the best grand prix you probably won't see much of it except the first few laps because there isn't much to show but yeah all is done, so we just gonna nail Sunday and bring in two points. This is a car that should be good around here in race space, but you never know, anything can happen. Okay guys, we lined up at Monte Carlo. All the drivers are lining up. Keep an eye on the lights. It's going to be five red lights in Monaco the for the Monaco Grand Prix. 39 laps of pure concentration. And let's try to bring in maximum points. The launch is going to be crucial. And after that, we should be on a merry way. So guys, it's going to be five red lights. It's going to be lights out. And away we go. Not much hectic. Perez overtakes with Sappin, which is we haven't done a heavy fuel run, so we don't know how the car will really feel. So we just gotta gauge it for the first few laps here. Tire temps are gonna be interesting as well. Might want to go for a faster lap, probably next lap. I'm Battery charge is high, let's use that overtake button a bit more. Guys, here we go, pass the tap, attempt. Perez has just Let's see. the fastest lap of the race. Let's see if we can break that.
1012.3. Let's see if anybody breaks that. That's two purple sectors. It felt pretty nice. But this type of face is not ideal. We we need to be sensible now, my guys. I am. I think tires are gonna be overheated throughout the Grand Prix, but the good thing is it's Monaco. So race pace really just matters on not clunking it in the barrier. Because I, I really can't I feel in rhythm when I'm pushing the car. And when I'm trying to force and not degrade the tires, I feel like I'm missing not pushing or I'm not. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 8.9 seconds. Because Monaco is all about rhythm, and rhythm for me is only possible when I'm like actually pushing and poly laps. So that's when I struggle in the race, when I have to live, is where I can't find the rhythm. I'm doing 19 fours, I did 3 laps 19 fours, now I'm doing a 19 six. Which is obviously more conserving the tires. George is really slow. I've gapped the field uh, in the last few laps by already pushing my tires, which I'm keep, gonna keep doing because I'm gaining lap time. Once the tires feel completely on the brink of. Nineteen eight. yeah, tires are falling off now, I can feel it. Sector 2 isn't as bad. Sector 3 and Sector 1 definitely even feel the tires. In this lap, in this lap, push now. He wants me to push, I've got a free license to push, guys. Let's go. Okay, so we're behind by 9.2 seconds. We're Boxing. This is where everything can go wrong, Monaco. Okay, off we Clean go, soft. back into the race. Perfect job from you and the crew there, mate. We're delighted with that. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Nobody is really behind me. Outlap is critical. We're out of traffic. I was thinking of just going long on them. Because I could just keep overcutting everybody. Because George was really slow. So that could mean I could just keep pushing on the size of you, to be honest. Oscar's coming in for his stop now. Okay. We're going for a fast stop. Going for fast stop now. Just to be sure. And the gap behind us is 6.6 .6 seconds. That was a good sector one, man. Past the lab one tenth of maybe that was the light of fuel to be honest. I did not feel it in the tires that they were really that much quicker. I think the car just felt lighter in sector one. The purple sector one which I think made the difference. 
sector three was probably slower. I'm sorry, how has science undercut George and Stro what is going on? How have Aston gotten a P2 P3 right now? Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 21.2 seconds. Okay, they're on fresh hards. They're in 15th. You know, what the fuck? Was, uh, one minute. That would be actually unique, but I don't know. It, it won't really do anything in terms of strategy. They have eight left. Eight laps to go for this. He's basically on the track now, man. That should be a safety car. Green flag. What? Oh, oh. He's still on the track, man. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh my gosh, this car doesn't do it. Oh guys, here we go. We're going into the final lap of the Monaco Grand Prix. It's been an interesting one. Russell's damage has held off everybody. Look at the gap between the first three cars and then. Final lap, final lap. Push, push. So it was really annoying. So we gave it all. We gave it our best. And we gotta be win. winning from pole, so which is the bare minimum for us fastest lap as well so the pace was there especially when, when we pushed it was there it was consistently up there i think the hard stint was better for us mediums were falling off i think george's issue has helped us but overall i, I would have preferred to be fighting george because i think mclaren's aren't as strong as the aston martin Obviously, Sainz and Stroll started P14 and P17, so they undercut it. Undercutting everyone on the grid because of George's issue. And, yep, nobody's even close. Everybody's just following a train. Oscar is out of points because of that. He started P8, which is unfortunate. But, regardless, still big points for the championship. Hopefully, good thing is Oscar performing on pace wise now. Which means constructors will be moving now. But a great result, great weekend. Pole, uh, we we P1. Let's go, we're back in the championship, boys. Ah, oh, fantastic drive. That's just fantastic. Amazing. You deserve that race win. Well done, mate. It's the one that everybody wants to win, and they've only gone and done it. What a fantastic result here at Monaco. Talk to me, Ant. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I really feel the track layout, combined with the track temperatures we saw today, suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. So let's review the driver's standings. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. So, Anthony Davidson, we must have taken who would you lead. rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to oh the golden gosh. boy. It's time to he's see how leading. things are shaping up in the Constructors' Challenge. Oh, the lead so at the consistent. top comes down after a strong weekend from the challenging uh, pack. Meanwhile, still, Ferrari have improved man. their position. A strong weekend for them as they fight still, their way we're close. towards the top. And I think we have and stronger that, drags for another us to come. Of so... With more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with come. more. We were really Formula quick. One. I think there was nobody as quick as us on the grid. Nobody even close to a fastest lap. Stroll. Yeah, Oscar. Oscar got stuck in that jam of Russell, didn't he? Look at Russell Steins. 
34 seconds plus to Lance. It was insane. Everybody got stuck in a train there. Unfortunate. Still, good tracks to come for us. Okay, guys. I think we are gonna be ending our let's play. Let's see if we can get a better. Fastest lap. Let's see what top 16. Top fours are achievable. So we're gonna go with that loop of it's a lot of money. We need that. So yeah, guys, a good weekend for us. A uh, lot of positives, but negatives for Oscar. Couldn't get points. Unfortunate, but still, we have a long weekend. A lot of time to get upgrades in, so I'm happy. We're close to the championship. Science is just somehow getting P2s out of nowhere. So yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. See you guys.